Okay, now we will have another example on limits. So we have this one, the limit of 3x squared minus 2, 3x to the 4 minus 2x squared plus 7 over 5x cubed plus x minus 3 as x approaches to infinity. So if we will use our first um, first method, so algebraic method, so we uh, we will not uh, try to factor this one, so it will be tedious for us. So let's just have this one. Let's just uh, substitute directly infinity. Okay, so this will be the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 7 over 5 cubed plus infinity minus 3 okay so we have here 3 to the power of infinity so if you raise infinity to to a certain power the answer will just be still infinity and if you multiply infinity to another number so the answer will just be infinity because infinity is the largest number we could possibly think in mathematics so this will just be infinity and this one is still infinity and this is 7 okay so we have now infinity minus infinity so we could not say that it's equal to 0 because we don't know if this infinity is much larger with this infinity so that's why we could say that that's why it is uh, much um, easy to have this one as infinity minus infinity is equal to infinity plus 7 which is still infinity so we have infinity over same goes here this is infinity you added that one by infinity you you subtracted by 3 and that is infinity and now infinity over infinity is undefined okay so we could not um, solve directly our answer if we are go going to use algebra so it will be tedious so maybe we could find the factor of that one but to make it easier, we will go directly to L Hospital's rule. Okay, L Hospital's rule. Okay. So the first one is to first get our f of x. So this is equal to 3x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 7. So our f prime of x is equal to... Um, this now is equal to 12x minus 4x. So this is x cubed. And our g prime of x, uh, our, g, our g, g of x first, we have 5x cubed plus x minus 3. So our g prime. of x is equal to 15 x squared plus 1 so if you are going to substitute this one so we have limit so our f prime of x x this is 12 x cubed minus 4 x all over 15 x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity so if we are going to substitute infinity we will have 12 12 um, x cube so 12 infinity cube minus 4 infinity all over 15 um, this is x squared, so this is infinity squared plus 1. So we will have still infinity over infinity, so this will, that, that will still be undefined. Okay, so if now we are going to go a little farther, so we will just go to the second derivative, then go to the third derivative. If it's still undefined, we could conclude that our answer is or the limit of this function is undefined so we will now get the we have that one in another page 
Okay, so you just write here first the f prime of x. So this is equal to 12x cubed minus 4x. 12x cubed minus 4x. So we get the second derivative. Okay, so this is 36x squared minus 4. Then we will get the first derivative of g of x, so g prime of x. Okay, so we have 15x squared. 15x squared plus, what would be plus? Okay, plus 1. Okay, so the second derivative, second order derivative will be 30x plus 1. And if we are going to apply again L hospitals rule, okay, so we will have 36 x squared uh, minus 4 over 30x plus 1. Okay, so we are going to substitute. So this will be equal to 36 infinity squared minus 4 over 30 times infinity plus 1 which is still be equal to infinity over infinity and this will be still be undefined we could conclude that that is still the way because we cannot say that this is equal to 1 because we don't have the exact value of infinity so maybe this infinity is larger than this infinity so we will go uh, one step further so that this will be the last one we will have we will get the third derivative okay so our third derivative of x we just have this one in red okay so from the second derivative so we just copy here this is 36 x squared minus 4 so we are going to get the third derivative so this will be 72 x for the g of x so the second derivative is 30x plus 1 for the third derivative it will be now only equal to 30 so we will again apply L hospitals rule so limit so x as x approaches to uh, infinity so they will now have to the third derivative so this will be this will be 72x so 72x over 30 so we will now apply our limits so 72 infinity over 30 this will become infinity over 30 and any number divided by infinity the answer is still infinity but that, in, that infinity is much lesser than this infinity also the answer is infinity and this is now our limit so the exact limit of this function the exact limit of this one is equal to infinity so by using L hospitals rule up to the third up to the third um, degree derivative okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying